Breaking news on NBC 26 Live at 5. A construction worker is dead after a crane collapses on Highway 41 in Oshkosh. 35 year old Joseph Bidler of Green Bay was crushed when the crane collapsed on top of him. Another man was also seriously injured. It happened around 9 o'clock this morning on the Lake Butamore Bridge. Cassandra Duval is live at the scene in Oshkosh tonight. She has the very latest. Good evening, Stacy. We're down here and you can actually see the bridge behind me. Right now, traffic is still pretty slow going, but all the construction work has stopped on US 41 down here on this bridge. OSHA crews are trying to reconstruct what happened down here this morning during this accident. But right now, they're, they say they're just not quite sure what happened. Crews were trying to unlift a dozen beams down here. Now, these beams weigh 62 tons of concrete, but during the fourth attempt, that's when something went wrong. The crane was completely flipped on its side and the man who lost his life was 35 year old Joseph Bidler, a driver who worked for Spam Creek Construction. He was an 11 year veteran of the company. DOT says crews were lifting those beams with two cranes this morning and those cranes were owned by Lunda Construction. Traffic was stopped nearly for an hour down here and it was backed up for a couple of miles. Now this is the second crane related death on this US 41 project this year. The first one happened back in April in De Pere when a man was attempting to unload a crane. That's when he lost his life. Now, those cranes were also owned by Lunda Construction Company. We're not quite sure when work is going to resume here on this bridge. That's going to be left up to OSHA. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26. Thank you, Cassandra. Today, leaders at Spancrete say the victim, Joseph Bidler, worked for their company for 11 years. They released a statement saying, quote, the thoughts and prayers of every employee at Spancrete are with Joseph's family at this difficult time. Spancrete is a family company and Joseph is a part of our family. This tragic accident touches each and every one of us. Now, as Cassandra mentioned, this is the second death involving a crane working on the Highway 41 project. 58-year-old Raymond Ashenbrenner of Black River Falls died back in April when a crane arm collapsed on top of him. It happened just south of Shearing Road in Brown County. The State Department of Transportation and OSHA are still investigating what caused that accident. Well, after